Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Lauren. I'm Megan. I'm Mimi. I'm Grandpa. I'm Joel. I'm Daniel. I'm the Funkle. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Welcome back, everyone. We have got a rainy day on our hands. We have been dealing with rain all night into this morning. It actually was raining so hard last night that it woke me up. And it is expected to rain like this all day, which at this point in the year, we really don't need too much of this rain. However, we did get all of our wet cornfields harvested. So that's really good for us. I had just got the farm market set up and the boys came down around back. Daniel and Joel have been working on feeding animals this morning and now they're working on bedding up the cows. With the amount of rain that we had last night into today, we thought it was best to bed up all of the cows. So Joel and Daniel just finished doing that. Not only are we getting a lot of rain, but in the upcoming nights, it's gonna get pretty cold. So we thought it would be best to get some nice soft bedding in there for them to help keep them warm. Came up into the farm market. Dad just got home from the wholesaler. So we are taking everything and putting it on the shelves. Not only did he pick up some vegetables and fruits, he also got apple cider. Uh, he got a local apple cider from one of the orchards and it's really, really good. You can see in the cooler, we still have our bell peppers. We've got a little over half a bin of bell peppers and then we've sold all of our Cubanel and now we just have Italian L. We are all done working up in the farm market. Now the weather has changed over to like this mist. And in my opinion, working in like this misty weather is worse than working in just straight rain. But fortunately, we're not gonna be working outside. We got this area over here cleaned up. We just try and keep everything looking nice, you know, because from feeding animals, things will get dirty and then we need to come through and clean it. So now that we've got this area over here cleaned up, what we're actually gonna be moving on to next is butchering chickens. We're gonna be doing a few chickens for the family and we're about to get started. So I'll see you guys after we're done. We just got finished with what we were doing. Now we're gonna get some lunch. And for lunch today, we're having tacos, <laughs> nice. Since we stopped for lunch, I came up to the house. I'm gonna eat my lunch with Lauren. And we've got Callie here sitting with us. Moo, moo, moo. Has mommy been taking care of you this morning? Lauren, that's what I like to hear. Who's my big girl? Who's my big girl? Alrighty everyone, we just got finished with lunch and right now we're down behind the farm market. Something we were thinking about working on, because there are significantly less birds in here now, uh, what we're going to be doing is moving these birds out and then cleaning this area of all the manure. Now in the near future we do plan on getting more chickens to put into these pens. Uh, and we always clean when we put a new batch of chickens in but it's still gonna be a few weeks till we get to that point and it's starting to get a little on the muddy side. And it's getting to the point where no matter how much sawdust we add, it's just soaking up all of the wet there. So instead of just continuously adding sawdust, essentially wasting it, we're gonna clean this whole area out and then put brand new dry bedding down. I think you gotta take it all the way off. Dad said this bracket wasn't easy cause you gotta bend over for it. Can you believe that? We literally, that's what we do for a living. Picking vegetables. You should be used to this. You want me to get the one that you have to bend over for? Yeah.
Now these machines are very helpful when it comes to cleaning up manure. And one of the things we really try to do with the machines is eliminate the manual labor that we have to do. Now when it comes to cleaning up, you will always have these corners that you need to get in and clean them with a shovel or a broom. But all of the manure that you can take out with the skid steer loader makes it a lot easier on the guys that are shoveling. So when we are gonna load all this stuff up, we wanna try and make sure that we can get as much as possible with the skid steer loader. While we have all this stuff moved out of the way, this is a perfect time to try and get some of these cobwebs off. So what we like to do is clean these spider webs out periodically, and they come back pretty quick because there's always gonna be insects around animals. But a lot of these spider webs trap dust and things like that and we just try and clean it up makes it look a little bit nicer and it's a lot healthier for us and the animals i've been cleaning for like two minutes and you can already see a giant difference between this side of the pole and the clean side of the pole Worst part about this, John, when you're done, no matter what you're doing, you think you got spiders crawling on you for the rest of the day. We got all of the sawdust put down. I mean, it's not the fanciest place to live. You've got that water bowl in here. I'm gonna be able to stay a night or two, but I think it'll work for the chickens. We've got all the chickens moved over into this pen. Now everybody is on the automatic watering system. Move this out, dude. Now all we have to do is clean up this section. We got all the manure cleaned out of this section. I went through and swept it and scooped up everything in the corner with a shovel. So now this is all clean. We've got our chickens moved over into a nice pen. Now that we're all done taking apart the chicken pens and cleaning up over there, we're taking apart these calf pens that we had in the middle of this area down here. Now, a few years ago, we built this lean-to and we actually, we've housed chickens, turkeys, calves out here. And it's always been a great area to store animals when we needed them. This little area isn't too sheltered from the wind. And that's one of the biggest concerns with calves. Uh, the wind really affects calves. So what we're gonna do is clean this area up, make it look nice, and we're gonna move all the calves inside. And that brings us to why the cafeteria is such a great place to raise calves. If for some reason it was to get extremely cold, we have a heater in here. So we could turn it on for the calves, and it also has plenty of room for us to move calves from feeders to feeders, or even from stalls to stalls. Now each one of the calves on this side has an individual stall, and that's because they're all still on milk. Although when the calves grow up a little bit more and they no longer need the milk, we move them over to this side. So that's also something we wanna work on today is building up a little calf pen. This is not comfortable. All right, round three for Manor. Who's ready? Oh, I know you are. Big load. Range two, gear four, four wheel drive. trying to get a nice even coating of manure that just blankets the ground in a nice powder. No clumps or chunks or anything like that. Also, you can see our cover crops coming up. All of the rye that we planted 
just to hold the ground during over the just to hold the ground over the winter is coming up nicely. Which, all right, now on the last load, we always do something called a clean out. And I'll show you what that, what's involved in that right away. You see, we have a lot of clumps of manure uh, that are sitting there. And what happens is the beaters will constantly beat the manure back into the spreader because there's not enough manure to push it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the beaters off, but we're gonna continue our speed. That way it does not drop clumps of manure all over the field. Uh-huh, yep, okay. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your ride with Joel. While Joel was gone, we got a few things accomplished. One thing is we got our lean-to put down and we got all of our stuff over here put away. And we really needed room because as you can see, we've already piled stuff there. Not only did we get that taken care of, we built a tiny pen here in our cafeteria. And now we've got these two guys. They're together, they're no longer on milk, so we felt comfortable putting them in the same pen. But that wasn't the last thing we needed to accomplish today. We're working on grinding feed for our animals. We've got a few more days of grain available for the cows, but then it would be done, and we don't want to be put in a position where we don't have enough grain. So we're going to be grinding some feed for our cows. All right. I think someone's hungry, or a lot of ones are hungry. They just got finished grinding all of the feed and I got finished feeding the cows. Daniel had it all smoothed out and really nice down here. And then it rained again and now it's muddy. Ryan, do you need your Brussels sprouts? I need string beans, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, red beets. Well, as you guys can see, we are putting everything away. We're just about to close up the farm market. I gotta turn the lights out, I'm going home. You got the farm market all closed up. It's that time of the year where it's always dark when we're heading up to the house. It's unfortunate, but we'll deal with it. Andrew, you have a good night and good night, everybody. We just got up to the house and as you can see, we have no dinner on the table. That's because it's date night. And right when I got up to the house, someone was a little cranky, but now she's okay. She looks happy, right? Are we happy? Can we say moo? I need the baby. Okay, you can take the baby. Right? Alrighty guys, so we are gonna get ready to go out and get some dinner. So that means this is where we're gonna end the video. We'd like to thank everyone for watching and we hope to see you next time. Bye bye